Let's give this to our model and see how it will perform. Let's run this project. Let's wait for a while. Yeah, here we go. Let's see. Let's bring the photo here and also see the response. Uh, so yeah, it's saying that there is a soccer ball, which is white and there is only one of them. This is completely correct. And about the other objects, it's saying that there is person or like human in this picture and there is 11 of them. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So yeah, amazing. It even uh, count this guy in the background, which is very good. And let's see the colors. It's saying that the primary colors are brown, which is this team, blue, which is this guy who's a goalkeeper, black, even this guy in the background, amazing. And white. Uh, yeah, red and white for these guys who has mixed color in their clothes. Hey everyone, Nariman here, welcome to my channel. Today in this short video, I want to show you three cool projects using vision models and also Olama's structured output. So vision models, even the open source ones these days are very powerful. They can easily tell you what is going on in each picture. And in other hand, Olama's structured output will let you get responses from the models in the formats like JSON. So I decided to combine these two together and I want to show you in three different projects how powerful these tools are. If you are new to Olama, I would suggest you first watch this video to get more information about it because I will not cover the introduction here but I will let you know how to set up everything for this project. First of all, we only need two dependencies, the Olama Python integration and the Pydantic. For installing it, you will go to the command line and we would say pip install dash r requirements.txt and then everything would be installed. Also, I'm gonna use a Llama 3.2 vision model. So first we will need to pull this model. You can go to the command line and type olama pull llama 3.2 dash vision and this will pull the model for you. Of course, I already did it before. So for me, it's pretty fast, but you can see that it's containing a few gigabytes of data. So it needs to be downloaded. So let's go and start. The first project that I want to show you is OCR. OCR is short for optical character recognition and it's the ability to extract text from images. These days with these open source vision models, OCR is very easy task. So in this project, I want to give our vision model some invoices and then ask for all the information inside this invoice. I want to see this information in a certain format and that's where a structured output will come handy. Olama's structured output needs the JSON schema from the Pydantic model. So if I go down here, you can see that I created my model and then called model JSON schema and then passed it to the format. So my model is like this. The most important thing is that it should uh, extend the base model of Pydantic. What I want is a JSON response that has the invoice number, the date, the vendor name where it was issued, and of course a list of items which is in the invoice, and at last the total uh, money that was paid. Each item also consists of name, quantity, and price per item. So that's it, you will define your model, you make sure that it was extended by base model of Pydantic and then you will uh, pass the JSON schema here as format. The rest is very simple. All I need to do is create an Olama chat. I will define my model, which is Llama 3.2 vision, as I told you. And then the message would be, yeah, my role is user 
and I will pass some images. You can pass these images as paths from your computer or as base64 encoding. And the most important part is your prompt. I created a very detailed prompt. I said, I will give you an invoice image. Your task is to use OCR to detect and extract text and categorize it in predefined fields. Then I told it in detail which fields I want. Invoice number, date, vendor name, items, and then the total amount of money that was paid. One more thing is I set temperature to zero Temperature is uh, managing the randomness of the model. I wanted things uh, consistent. Maybe in this video, for example, I'm running it three times. I want to get three times the same result. So I set the temperature to zero. I didn't want to get surprised or anything. And in the response, if you look for message and then content, you will get the response that you exactly wanted from this uh, model. So for example, here I have an image of one of my old invoices and you can see that is the vendor, this is the date and there are a few items and then the total money that was paid for it. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this image here and let's run this project and see what will be the result. It's going to take a while. So yeah, that's the response. Let's go to the actual invoice so we can compare. Yeah, as you can see, the invoice number is correct. The date is correct. The vendor name is correct. And you can see that, uh, for example, the items the quantity is correct, the item name is correct, the price is correct, and we have all the items here as a list, and also at the end, the total amount that was paid, which is also correct. So yeah, amazing, uh, OCR was never this easy. You can do many things with this. For example, if you have a PDF that is consists of like, actual scans of pages you can just give it to this model and then get the whole text or for example ask for all the entities inside this text as a structured output or many other things to do i wanted to just give you some example and some ideas and then you can just play around with it and see what you can do with it so uh yeah we can move on the second project that I want to show you is the emotion detection. This is also something that is getting very easy with these models. I remember like a few years ago, that was like one of the APIs that like Microsoft AI was providing for you. But right now you can run your model locally in your laptop and write some Python code and achieve this. Um, everything is more or less the same. I am asking for a certain structured output here. I cl created a class called emotion, which has a name and a score. And my emotion response is basically just a list of emotions. So what I want basically is to upload an image to this model and says, okay, tell me the list of emotions that you see and give each of them a score from zero to one. Zero is like this emotion is not uh, visible in the face. One is like I'm 100% sure that uh, this guy has this emotion in the face. So, um, so this is score is for that, which controls the intensity of the emotion. And my um, prompt looks like this. It's saying that analyze the facial expression in this image and provide the intensity of the following emotions as a scores between zero and one. Then I also predefined my uh, like emotions. I said the emotions are happiness, sadness, anger, fear, surprise, disgust, and neutral. So there might be other emotions, but I tried to just categorize them in a few. That would make things easier for the model, I would say, because 
I want things very strict and structured and I don't want to, for example, one time uh, the emotion is called happiness, the other time is called smiling, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, the other things are more or less the same. Temperature is still zero. Here we are passing the format. The model would be the same and we are just creating an Olama chat. I want to pass this baby's photo, which is a smiling to this uh, model and see what would be the response. This is a very clear happiness emotion. So let's see what would be the response. Let's run this one. Yeah, as you can see, uh, the model is pretty accurate. Um, it gave a score of almost one to happiness, which uh, means that the model is pretty sure. And it just gave a very small score to neutral, which is so small that you can even disregard. Okay, let's close this. And for the last one, which is also a very useful project, we want to focus on the object detection. So these models, these vision models, can basically see everything in a photo and then describe it to you. So we can uh, use these models and get a very detailed response about all the objects that are present in the pictures. I want a very uh, a structured and detailed response here regarding uh, which objects are present in this uh, picture. It can be a cat, it can be a person, it can be a car. Also like uh, the number of each of these uh, objects. For example, there are two persons, there are three cars, stuff like this. And also some uh, information uh, about the color or shape, you can ask anything. So this is what I came up with. I created a class called object, which has the name and also a list of colors and the count. And then there will be a object detection response, which basically has a list of objects. So this is what I want to get from my model. I want to see a list of objects and for each object, I want to know what is the name of that object? How many are they? and also like colors what is the color of them like at least the primary colors of them so this is my uh, prompt i said that your task is to perform object detection and return a structured output for each detected object i want to know the name for example is it a cat is it a car is it a person also the total number of the detected uh, objects and the dominant color or primary colors because it can be like many colors for some, I don't know, bird or any other objects. But yes, some uh, colors that are dominant, I want to know about them. And yeah, that's basically it. The other is basically the same. Let's go and give this photo, which is about a football match to it. It's a pretty complex photo. There are many objects going on some people some ball and you can see even in uh, the background there is a guy standing let's give this to our model and see how it will perform let's run this project let's wait for a while yeah here we go let's see let's bring the photo here and also see the response uh, so yeah, it's saying that there is a soccer ball, which is white and there is only one of them. This is completely correct. And about the other objects, it's saying that there is person or like human in this picture and there is 11 of them. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So yeah, amazing. It even uh, count this guy in the background, which is very good. And let's see the colors. It's saying that the primary 
colors are brown which is this team blue which is this guy who's a goalkeeper black even this guy in the background amazing and white uh yeah red and white for these guys who has mixed color in their clothes so yeah impressive to be honest uh, i didn't expect uh, to get all things right from the model but uh, yeah it's very good so yeah this was our uh, third and last project that i wanted to show you today i hope you enjoyed watching this video please also push the like button and also subscribe me for more content like this in the future i plan to make more videos on ai see you around